Hi, nice to see you guys join Rakta Bimba. Happy World Tapir Day! So, what do tigers, orangutans, sun bears, and pangolins have in common? They all live here in our warm tropical rainforest. Did you know that our tropical rainforest receives more rain compared to other places in the world and is warm because we're located on the widest part of the planet? More species of plants and animals live in the tropical rainforest than anywhere else. The rainforest looks and sounds almost the same all year round. The sun rises and the birds start singing over the buzzing of insects while the call of the gibbons and hornbills echo the treetops. They quiet down as it gets hotter and hide in the shade of tall trees. Our Malaysian rainforest is amazing. Some trees are so tall, they need big white roots to hold them up. A tropical rainforest has four layers from the forest floor to the tops of the emergent layer. The forest floor is where all fallen leaves, branches and animal poop create rich soil and is home to microbes, fungi and bugs. Roots of trees absorb the rain and the hilly surface helps channel the water into small streams where elephants, tigers, tapirs and saladangs who live there get water to drink. The layer that forms above the forest floor is the understory where shrubs, bushes and young trees get small patches of light. Here you can see plants climb onto other trees to get more sunlight and animals here, they depend on the damp, humid conditions to survive. The canopy acts as a roof to the understory and the forest floor. It blocks most of the sunlight reaching the forest floor. The canopy also slows the rain from washing away the soil on the forest floor. Many plants grow and wrap around the tree trunks and the branches. An abundance of leaves, fruits and flowers grow here. 70% of all the animals that live in the rainforest live in the canopy. The canopy also provides protection for the animals from predators roaming on the forest floor. Right at the very top is the emergent layer. Only the very tallest of trees are found in this layer. The trees receive the most sunlight and have to survive the hot temperatures and strong winds. Can you imagine them swaying in the strong wind? Some of the animals that hang out here in the emergent layers include the siamang and the bat. Each layer is unique and is home to specific animals. They are all connected and many animals move between the layers. The area an animal lives in is called a habitat. An animal's habitat is the place where it can get all the things it needs to stay alive. Animals need things like enough food to eat, air to breathe, clean drinking water, space to move around and shelter. A mother animal needs a safe place to lay her eggs and raise her babies. So habitats can be very different for very different animals. For example, the cave nectar bat lives in limestone caves in the forest because limestone caves protects it from loud noises. Strong winds keeps them dry and ensure they have plenty of places to hang. Guess what? It's dark all day long as they sleep and it's right next to the forest with fruit trees making it easy for the bat to come out at night when other animals are sleeping to drink nectar from the flowers of fruit trees. So if you, like me, like durians and patai, you have to love bats. You may not know it, but you are helping to protect our Malaysian rainforest and endangered animals right now by learning about them. So join us and learn more about Malaysian animals, hear some stories, and learn how to make animals out of plasticine, origami, and draw. See you again! Bye!